Saudi Pro League Al Ali vs Al Nasser Prediction, Team News, Lineups Preview Reeling from their gut-wrenching AFC Champions League exit, a disconsolate Al Nasser journey to the King Abdullah Sports City to face Al Ali in Round 24 of the Saudi Professional League on Friday. Having failed to win the last four meetings between the sides since 2020, the Royals will head into the weekend looking to get one over the visiting side and continue their unbeaten home run this season. Match Preview With 10 games to go before the 2023-24 Professional League draws to a close, Al-Ali find themselves in third place, with a Champions League spot in their own hands. As they sit seven points above fourth-placed Al-Idihad in the league table. Matthias Jaisal's side men kept their slim title hopes alive last Saturday when they secured a hard-fought 1-0 victory over a dogged al Tawan side at the King Abdullah Sports City Stadium. Having failed to breach the al Tawan defense in an uneventful first half, Al-Ali got the breakthrough with eight minutes left in the game courtesy of a neat finish from 23-year-old striker Faras Alburakan. The Royals have now gone unbeaten in 11 of their last 12 league matches, claiming seven wins and four draws, with a somewhat disappointing 3-2 loss at al Dude on February 16 being the exception. Key in Al-Ali's impressive campaigns has been their solid record at the King Abdullah Sports City as they are one of just two sides yet to suffer defeat at home, picking up seven wins and four draws in their 11 matches so far. However, Jaisal's side will have to show their mettle this weekend as they have failed to win any of their last seven home games against Al Nasser, losing five and claiming two draws since a 2-1 victory in the King's Cup back in May 2016. A Cristiano Ronaldo-led Al Nasser suffered a quarter-final exit from the Champions League on Monday when they were beaten 3-1 on penalties by United Arab Emirates outfit Al Ain at the Al Al Stadium. Having suffered a 1-0 loss in the first leg on March 4, Al Nasser fought back from two goals down to win 4-3 and take the contest to penalties thanks to goals from Abdulrahman Garib. Alex tells, an own goal from Khalid Issa and a clutch 118th-minute penalty from Ronaldo. However, Miroslav Brozovic, Tells and former Porto midfielder Otavio all failed to convert from the spot as Alain advanced to the semi-finals, where they will go head-to-head -head with another Saudi side in Al-Hilal. Licking their wounds from another heartbreaking Champions League run, Al Nasser now turn their attention to the professional league where they suffered a shock 3-1 home defeat at the hands of 13th placed Al Raid last Thursday. Prior to that, Luis Castro's men were on a seven-game unbeaten run in the league, claiming six back-to-back -back wins before playing out a draw with Al Hazm in a pulsating eight-goal thriller on February 29. With the season entering its business end, Al Nasser will now fully focus on making a late charge for the league title as they sit second in the standings with 53 points from 23 games. 12 points adrift of first-placed Al Hilal. The Global One will be backing themselves to return to winning ways this weekend as they take on an Al Hilal side who have failed to taste victory in their most recent four encounters, losing three and claiming one draw, and have managed just one win in their last 10 meetings since November 2018. Team News Veteran midfielder Abdullah Oteif has been out of action since last August through a cruciate ligament injury and the 31-year-old remains out of contention for Al Ali. Spanish midfielder Gabriel Vega is currently recuperating from an ankle problem and the former Celta Vigo man is set to miss his fourth consecutive game since mid-February. With his winner against Al Tawan, Alburakan now has 12 gold and 6 assists in the league the most goal involvement of any Al Ali player this season, and the 23-year-old will be one to keep an eye on. Al Nasser will have to cope without Brazilian forward Talisca, who has missed the last three matches after coming off with a muscle injury against Al Hazm on February 29th. He is joined on the club's injury table by goalkeeper Walid Abdullah, who is also set to sit out his fourth straight game as he has been sidelined through a leg problem. Ronaldo, who has 22 goals and 9 assists in 21 professional league matches this season. Should spearhead the visitors' attack once again, alongside former Liverpool man Sadio Mane and 26-year-old Garib. Alali possible starting lineup. Mendy, Balabade, Hindi. 
Demerol, Madrashi, Kesi, Alazmari, St. Maximin, Firmino, Maras, Alburican. Al Nasser possible starting lineup. Najar, Lajami, Alamri, Fadl, Tells, Al Kabari. Brozovic, Main, Otavio, Garib, Ronaldo. We say, Al Ali 2 to 1 Al Nasser. Off the back of an agonizing Champions League exit, Al Nasser will head into the weekend in search of a morale boosting result. However, Al Ali have put together a fine run of form in recent weeks and we see them securing a narrow victory in front of their home supporters. Thanks for your watching, don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more. Thank you.